Hi guys, tonight I have another Project Life process video for you. Here are the cards that I selected for today's spread. Um, they're mainly from Scraptastic and Gossamer Blue. I went to New York in August to visit my family, so I decided to do a spread on departing. Here are the pictures that I pre-selected and printed out on my Canon selfie. Now I did choose specific sizes because I kind of know which pockets these are going to go in. Because it's a progression video, I really did plan out this part. This is probably the most planned out part of the whole spread. So let's get into this. I'm going to pull out the first card and I'm going to place it on my mat. We'll zoom in to take a closer look and the first two pictures I'm going to uh, use are these two here. My husband's so goofy. He took a picture of my truck in the parking lot of the airport because I told him I was going to miss it. <laughs> if I only knew I was going to miss him and my cats a lot more. <laughs> anyway, I am looking for a 3 by 4 card to mount this picture on. You guys know my style so I really like to do that and I found this really awesome one. It looks like a watercolor effect and I really really love that. So I'm just going to turn it over and place that picture there I thought that was cute now this ephemera pack came in the September kit I believe for Scraptastic and I really love it I'm going to use it throughout this spread and I found this little strip with the date on it that I absolutely love and I'm going to include and then here I'm just going to randomly go through that ephemera pack and like I said the rest of this is not planned I'm kind of just going as I go along it's coming together and I find this vellum piece that I really love with the gold circles then I go over to these American Crafts rub -ons, but I didn't really find anything specific that I wanted so I flip over to the chic tag ones instead and I love these and I find the one that says the journey starts here and I figured that was absolutely perfect for leaving the airport so I'm going to just use that on that little vellum piece. It was a little hard to transfer the rub on, but if you're just patient, it did work. And I love the way it came out. It's very muted, but I think it looks really awesome on that vellum piece. Now I'm taking out my sequence, and yes, that was a KFC takeout container that you just saw. Don't run out and get one though. The tops really do stink on those, and I've been meaning to transfer these into a real container. I just haven't had a chance yet. So I'm just kind of digging around in my sequence. I wanted to add that to the spread. I thought it would look good. Now I'm using my plus tape runner. This is the larger one versus the stick one I usually use. I'm just out of the ref refill on the stick one, so I I went to the larger one. I love it as equally as the stick runner. And I'm just going to glue down that 3x4 card and then the strip that has the date. I really do like that. I think it's perfect for a 4x6 card. And I'm going to put down the picture of my vehicle and just moving it around to get the placement right. And that's my main advantage with using these tape runners is that you can move things around. It's not so permanent. If you use glue, it gets a little messy if you need to move something. So I have a tendency to use adhesives. So here I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher to attach down that piece of vellum. I figured it was the easiest way to put it down without seeing any tape in the back. And then um, I'm going to put down the picture of the airport. That is the airport in St. Louis, Missouri. And that is where I left from. And you'll see here I just fiddle with it a little to make it straight. Sometimes when you're on camera it's a little difficult to line things up because you're not directly above them. And here I'm just using my Tombow Multi Mono Adhesive to put down my sequins and just a precision tweezers. Very easy to pick up the sequins like this and it's my favorite way to do it. And I really like those colors that I chose. Now here is my new favorite thing as I take out these stamping up rhinestones which I'm running out of and I must run and order right away before I get stuck and I like to put them in the center of sequins it just depends on the cards sometimes I like the sequins on their own and sometimes I like to add the rhinestones I just felt like this card needed a little bling so I do add them to this card and I love the base card on this that says can't wait because I was really really excited to get home it had been a while since I've been home to see my mom so that came out really, really cool. I'm happy with that. I'm going to call that done. But before I put it in the card, I realized uh, that I didn't punch the corners. So I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. It's set to the 1 4th inch. That's the one I use. I like to round my cards in Project Life. I always have. And I think I'm going to continue to do that because I really like the way it looks. So we're going to go on to the next card. And this one here, um, I didn't get it on film, but I split the 
the top of that banner so that I could slide the picture in. The picture didn't fit completely. It was covering up the wording on the bottom of the card. So I just used my X-Acto knife and I made a slit and I slid the picture in and it worked out just perfect. So I'm back to that same ephemera pack. And I'm kind of just looking around deciding which pieces I'm going to use and I come up with this vellum piece. Since I used vellum on the first piece I kind of wanted to carry that over and I like the way that looks. Now I'm at my wood veneers and I'm kind of just deciding what I'm going to put there. Now this is another plus glue tape runner but this one is specifically made for vellum. I can still see through it when I use it but I'm going to place this wood veneer on top with my glue and it's going to cover up whichever little piece of tape. I've tried several of the tape runners for vellum and they're not 100% but I figured it worked out really good. I like the way it came out and you can't see the glue through the bottom of it. And then I'm back to my corner chomper. I'm going to chomp the corners on this. And I thought I was done with the card, but then I decided that I wanted to add something else. So I go back to that original ephemera pack and I just pull out this tag. I just feel like it puts interest to the right side of the picture and I love this journey with veneer. I saved it specifically for my trip to New York and I'm having a little trouble deciding where to put it, but I finally decide on right there over the drink that I had before I left. And I really love it there, so I'm going to definitely try and make that work. But I'm looking for something on the left side of the card because I feel like it's not balanced now. So I'm just flipping through. This ephemera pack had such awesome pieces in it. I chose that one there that says Life Captured, and I really, really like it. So I take out my Stamping Up piercing mat. I love this thing. I cannot live without it for paper piercing and for setting brads. I just really love it. And I'm going to glue down the piece so it doesn't shift on me when I poke through for the brad. And I'm just going to pop a little hole in it. And then I'm going to go over to my brad's assortment of just some decorative brads that I have. And I'm looking for something that's going to go with this. And I end up deciding on just the plain red one. I just think it looks really cute, especially near the chili pepper of chilies there. And really think that's cute and this was just like my pre-flight stuff a meal a drink a go wrap <laughs> some fun stuff that i did at the airport now i'm just going to use my uh, mono glue my tombow mono multi-adhesive again to put down the journey with veneer and i love how this card came out it's probably my favorite in the entire spread so we're going to put that away and we're going to move on to the next card now this card here says here we go and it's a journaling card and I do journal and I'm not sure what was up with me when I first did this card. I don't know my handwriting is usually a lot neater than that and I kind of just slopped it out and I wasn't really pleased with it and I'm just going to chomp the corners here to make it match with the rest. I'm going to slide it in but you guys will see later. I changed that card because I'm really not happy with it. Okay so this next one here was totally perfect. It says getaway location and I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to pull out my Tim Holtz letters, mini letters. I love these things and I'm just going to put New York over the location because that's where I'm going. So I thought it would just look cute there and I thought the black looked really great against the yellow and I think that's super cute. So I was happy with adding the New York there and then I go back to my wood veneers and I'm looking for something else to add and I find this little airplane and I love it because it fits right over the airplane that's actually on the card and instead of it just being plain and one dimensional with that white plane there I'm going to add this little wood veneer right on top of it and it's going to give it a lot of character and dimension. I love that. Now I wasn't happy with the get being in white. I did not film that part but I ended up just using a marker and coloring the GET in with black and I love how that came out. Okay so we're going to move on to the next card. This card here um, I ended up taking uh, two different flights which is the majority of how you fly around these days. <laughs> Tie overs. There's really little selection of direct flights since I used to you know when I first started flying versus when I you know 
and flying now, it's just been crazy. You have to either do two or three flights. So I had two flights. I flew from St. Louis to Philly and then from Philly to New York. So those were my two different planes and I just wanted to document both of them. And I found this ephemera piece that says memories and I just love the way it looks. I love the way it looks against those you know really bright colors in the background and then I found that little ticket and I thought that was cute as well and I wanted that tag to work but it really didn't I end up removing it I pulled that out but I do like the rest of it so I'm going to adhere it down and I just thought that was really cute to document both planes and I'm going to cut this tag in half because it's not going to go all the way under the picture and I hate to waste half the tag like that I can totally use that on another project so I'm going to stick that underneath and that's super cute and go down to the next part which is the second picture and I'm going to put that memories ephemera piece on top and I believe I use my tiny attacher to put down that this one here I'm just kind of trying to center and make work Sometimes it doesn't always act good and you have to, you know, struggle a little to get things down. At least I do sometimes. It's not always perfect, guys, trust me. And then here we go with that second picture and I'm going to put the memories one down. And even though I think I use my tiny attacher, I do glue it down first because I don't want it to shift when I'm stapling it. And I do that a lot. So I'm going to just take my corner chomper and chomp off the corners. And then I'm going to peel that up and move it around again. And it doesn't look centered, so I'm going to mess with it yet again. <laughs> There's always fiddling and readjusting with me. I can never be happy just the first time around sometimes. And there goes my tiny attacher. I'm going to attach that on. And I really love that because those staples just give it such cute interest. And then um, I want to add something else to that left side. So I just add a, another piece of tag that I have. And I'm not going to put anything on it. It's just the other half of that tag that I used on the top. And I'm going to call that done. Now, if you can see, I switched those two cards in the pocket. And you'll see why. I end up um, wanting to just put writing that's going to point to those planes. So I needed this card to be on the left and the planes to be on the right. In the original part in the beginning, I had shown you the cards, vice versa. So I'm going to use these stickers from Webster's Pages, which I love, and the tiny Tim Holtz <laughs> tiny letters, or mini letters. I'm like fumbling on my words here. And I put together St. Louis to Philly and Philly to New York, and I'm just using some rhinestones to put down my locations on the map. It's not precise, and it's not all three locations. It's just kind of a roundabout of where I was, and I just thought that looked kind of cute. So really love how that card came out. So I'm going to call that card done. And I'm going to put that to the left of the two planes so that you understand my two planes that I took for each one of those locations. Then I'm going to move on to this card here in the bottom left. I love this card. I love the black writing. And I love that little pop of red with the arrow. And these are just some random pictures that I took during the flights. I just wanted to document the airport in Philly in the middle. And then I wanted to just take these few plain shots that I took out the window. Just really fun stuff. And then I'm going to go back to the All That Glitters Webster Pages letters. I love those. Those letters are awesome. I'm going to be using them a lot. So I believe here I'm just going to put down Headed Home. And I wasn't really sure where I was going to put everything. So I started down towards the middle and then I realized I needed some more space. So I'm just going to move them up. And that is the fun thing about Project Life, guys. You don't have to be perfect about everything. You can move things around. If they don't work, you can peel them up. You can repeel them. I do that a lot. And I'm just going to place these down. I'm not trying to make them look perfect or straight or anything. I actually like them when they're a little askew and kind of like just look like they're randomly placed instead of so perfectly straight. So I'm going to put that down. It says headed home. And I'm going to add a little rhinestone for interest. And then on the left, I'm going to add a wood veneer. I didn't tape that part, but you'll see it here coming up. It's an awesome camera. And I layered that remember piece right on top of it. And I love how that came out. So we're going to call it done. Now that I'm looking at the journaling card at the top, the one that I said I didn't like, I pull it out and I say, you know what? I didn't like it, not just because it was sloppy, because the black and white was clashing with the card on the bottom that was black and white 
white writing, it just looked too busy. So I like the here we go, so I decided to cut it off of that 3x4 card and glue it onto this 3x4 card. And I like to do that because it's customizing your cards and making them your own. I do that a lot. And I like that much better, and I rewrote it with not-so-terrible handwriting. <laughs> so I used my corner chomper again, and I'm so glad that I redid it, because now it doesn't clash with that black and white writing card at the bottom, and I think it looks way, way better. Okay, so we're going to move on to the last card. It's seriously cute little pattern here. It reminded me of tic-tac-toe when I first saw it. And my first thought was to put this picture here with my valet ticket baggage thing but then I took the selfie while I was on the plane it's a horrible shot of me I was so tired and exhausted I had no makeup on so I chose this card that says what a hot mess <laughs> it's totally perfect because I was totally a hot mess so I pulled out these snap stickers because I wanted to see if I could use something to overlay on that really white spot it was out the window but it didn't focus so it didn't come out good and I couldn't find anything so I ended up using this flare button that came with the kit that says get away with the map and I thought that was really cute I think that pattern of the map is really awesome looking especially for travel layouts and I add that star wood veneer to my uh, valet ticket there for my luggage and I'm just kind of trying to find something to dress it up on the right hand side and I love that little ticket right there that I found. I just think it looks so cute together. So I'm going to commit to this and I'm going to lay these down. And I think that one's running out of glue as well. I'm just so low on my glue supplies right now. I have got to do that as soon as I stop this voiceover. I'm placing an order. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to just put this picture down. And definitely what a hot mess. I thought that was like the cutest card ever when I saw it. And I just think it's coming together really, really well. So I'm going to put down my valet ticket. Since the planes are so small, some of them, especially the one I took from Philly to New York, that even your carry-on gets checked. So you get these little valet tickets, and I always keep them. I collect them. I think it's easier sometimes to scrap those than your actual ticket. And then I just want to put that tag in a way that it won't get caught up in the pocket. So I'm just going to uh, tape the elastic band in the back, and I think that looks really cute because it holds it in place. And then I'm going to call that card done. I'm going to chomp the corners again. And I'm going to place that card in, and you guys know that I put my flares on the outside of the pocket, so I won't do that until after the card is in the pocket. And there we go. We're going to pop that on. And believe it or not, guys, I did not stamp or heat emboss on this one. But here is the final result. I totally love it, guys. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up because it's really been a great encouragement. You guys have given me a lot of great feedback on these process videos, and I really like doing them. I hope you guys like this a lot. I'm going to show you an overview of the final project. I love how it came out. I think it's just so fun with all the colors. And that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.